ice field that you can see along the parkway between Jasper and Lake Louise. Now there is only one Columbia ice field. It is the largest ice field uh, below the Arctic Circle. The name Columbia was derived from a U.S. merchant ship that circumnavigated the world and eventually traveled the Columbia River. So that ship was called the Columbia Redditiva. So we have the Columbia River, there's also Columbia Glacier, and of course the Columbia Ice Field. Now if you look out to your right hand side, you can see a blue staircase. Just on the other side of the staircase there's some dirt protruding or sticking out of the snow there. That is called a terminal moraine. So terminal means end, and a moraine is a pile of rock debris created by a glacier. So that terminal moraine marks the furthest advancement of the Athabasca Glacier, and that happened in 1843. Scientists know that because when the glacier reached that area, it pushed up against some of the trees over there. By doing a tree ring analysis, they determined the age of the trees. That's how they figured out 1843 was the date of the furthest advancement of the Athabasca Glacier. To your right, you can see a blue sign that says 1890. That's where the toe of the glacier was back in 1890. That road to the right is maintained by Parks Canada. So they should open it soon, and then the general public can drive down there, park in the parking lot, and go explore the surface of the glacier. Now is not a good time to do that if you don't know the dangers. There are crevasses, cracks in the ice, that get covered with snow. So that creates a snow bridge. So if you're exploring that glacier and you don't understand there's a, a snow bridge covering a crevasse, you can fall right through it. So there is guided ice walk tours during the summer that should open up sometime soon. Those are professional guides that know all the dangers of glacier and keep you safe. Now we have three different eco-regions in the Canadian Rockies National Parks here. So we have the montane zone, the subalpine zone, and the alpine zone. The montane zone starts at 1,000 meters above sea level, extends up to 1,600 meters above sea level, and that's where you'll find the greatest biodiversity for wildlife and vegetation. Now from 1,600 meters to 2,200 meters above sea level, you're in the subalpine zone. So there's not a lot of vegetation, therefore not very much food for the wildlife. Like I said, you might see some bighorn sheep up here, maybe some mountain goats. Uh, once in a while we had a black bear come to some uh, staff camp in the middle of summer, but not too much wildlife up here. Now once you get above 2,200 meters, you're up into the alpine zone. The average altitude of the mountains in the Canadian Rockies is about 3,000 meters, 10,000 feet above sea level. These mountains here are a little bit higher. Uh, Mount Athabasca is at 3,490 meters above sea level, I believe. The highest one around here is 3,505. Now there's usually a constant cold wind coming down off the ice field that comes down through the valley here. And then it hits the mountain behind us, behind the ice field center. It's called Mount Wilcox. So the wind typically goes north and south then. So when you come here, your gas gauge is going to drop very fast because you're going straight into the wind. And then when you leave here, you're going to see some exceptional, exceptional gas mileage because you're going to have your back to the wind. So this is the transfer bay where you load onto the ice explorer. It takes you onto the glacier. Now please remember to take all your personal belongings with you. I might not be the shuttle driver that takes you up to the skywalk or back to the ice field center. The loading bay here has loose gravels. So please watch your step when you depart from the bus. And uh, when you cross the loading bay, it's just a couple steps up. Walk across, straight on your ice explorer. You're going to go down to 534. I'm not sure exactly who's driving that today. It's interesting they used to name these buses after mountains. Now they're all animal themed. So if I remember correctly, 534, I would have to guess. Maybe a frog bus? It's not a cool bus to have, is it? 